Hey guys, this is Alex from Answered Tech, and today I'm going to be printing some cable holders off of Thingiverse. These cable holders will prevent my cables from falling off of my desk when I unplug something like my laptop. So I'll be showing you what they look like, how they work, and I'm also going to be doing a time lapse of them 3D printing. This is the page where I found the file that I'm going to be 3D printing. I'm going to be 3D printing the cable holder underscore fix .stl file on my MakerBot Replicator 2. I'll also be sure to include a link in the description to this page. So now I've just added two of these cable holders into the MakerBot software. So for the settings, I'm going to use a high setting. I'm going to skip the rafts and support. So the high setting is going to give this a very nice uh, clean finish. I'll do a 15% infill and I'm going to be doing the layer height at 0.1 millimeters. For temperature, I'm going to put this down to 220 degrees. And for speed, I'll be doing 80 millimeters per second while extruding and 150 while traveling. So I'll save these settings, and now I'm just going to export the print file, and I'm going to start printing it. Whenever I 3D print something on my MakerBot, I use a few strips of this blue painter's tape across the bed of the printer. This tape helps the print stick, because if I don't use this, the print, the plastic print, will end up just sliding off in the middle of the print. So I'm going to put a few layers of this on, and I'll show you how it looks when it's done. So now I've completely covered the bed in painter's tape. As you can see, uh, there's no gaps between the pieces of tape because I want to make sure that the print sticks very well. So now I'm going to put the print bed in the printer as well as the SD card and we'll start printing. So as you can probably tell, the quality of this print is extremely good. Uh, both of them have pretty much no imperfections. Um, there are some little marks here, but that can easily be cleaned up with a file. On the bottom, uh, they are a little bit messed up, but that could just be an issue with the uh, print bed not being quite level. But overall, I think these prints came out fantastic. So as you can see, now I'm charging my phone through a micro USB cable, and let's just say I unplug my phone. As you can see, I can just feed the cable back and it will just hold it there. So while it would usually fall behind my desk and I'd have to go get it, it'll just stay there and be ready for the next time I need to charge my phone. So overall, these work really well. They're a great solution. Uh, they're very simple and that's about it. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe to Answer Tech as well as follow me on Twitter and I'll see you guys in the next video.